Hello everyone, we have our news for the week. As expected, Final Fantasy VII. So, maintenance is normal time as usual. Ending with maintenance is all the near stuff and the uh, Tyvis and Yish side story stuff. So we're getting essentially a, a few. So we're getting two new Neo Visions on Banner, Cloud and Barrett. Cloud's gonna be premium, Barrett's not. They're giving us Cetra Aerith for free in the login. And we're also getting 50 shards for her, so we'll get EX1 for free for logging in. As far as Cloud and Barrett, 30 shards each there. And then there's a bunch of extra stuff for the login that's fairly nice. They're doing their bonus lapis and EX point campaign. Same thing we've seen before. Uh, we are getting a free weekly summon, 50 summon here. There's no guarantees though, so worst luck, you can end up with 50 blues. But we're getting six total, so six weeks of this, which is very nice. 3% Neovision rate. With 50 summon, we should see a couple of Neovisions at least. Hill of Fortune bundles coming back. They've been doing this pretty much every month now, it seems. It's a month worth of uh, login stuff, essentially, and every time it runs out, they looks like they bring it back. Uh, heroic quest, so this means we're getting more story. A little uh, accessory for Runda. 160 defense spirit, and then a cooldown that he can use every five turns to reduce attack for all enemies. So, nice that Runda's getting some stuff. Be nice if they'd boost some other tanks, aside from just him. And they're starting some unit-specific enhancement stuff. So we get our notes on that. So essentially, it's going to be pots and uh, characters and everything that can only be used on certain units. Uh, I believe further up in the news, it's Reno that's happening for first. And that's what we have for the character here. It's marked just for him. There are notes that if you use the unit-specific characters to overlevel a unit and then use an eraser character, you don't get the unit-specific ones back. You only get the general ones back. But it looks like we'll have pots, characters, and some other stuff unit-specific only. Take a look at the vision cards. So first up is Cloud. So premium unit means EX3 to get one. 150 attack on it, 100% and limit damage. 100% killer against humans. And then Final Fantasy VII only units get the 500 flat attack. And then for Barrett, EX1 and 3, regular unit. So 1000 health, 100 defense. Guts on it. Uh, physical tanks get 500 health, 300 defense, and physical tanks will also get 100% human killer. And that's it for the new cards. So yeah, as the heroic quest hinted, there's more story. And then we are getting world division, so I always like these, they're fun. Go through, farm up, get the items, usually good items and everything. Plus, they let everybody, well, the first thousand ranks tie for rank one, which means most people, which is also nice to get that reward. Nice 10,000 lapis there. So, for items, we'll be able to max out. We get a fist weapon, 180, a two handed fist weapon with 180 attack, 200 defense, 50% uh, defense and limit damage and then 50% double hand defense so pretty nice there for uh, tanks that can use fists accessory 60 attack 45 defense and spirit 50% attack on it and 50% reaper killer so that's actually pretty decent as well another accessory 55 defense 45 spirit nullify stop and 50% double hand defense is really nice on that one we get an accessory, 10 mana, 70 magic, 50% magic, and then 50% uh, double hand magic. So that's actually really strong too. Uh, fist weapon, 247 attack, and both uh, human and reaper killer by 50%. Looks like they're leaving that as one-handed, so that's okay overall. 
at least until we get our uh, true do wield boost. And then we get the Final Fantasy VII Killer Materia. So this here just pretty much casts a buff at the start. Uh, against Reapers, maxed out. It's probably going to be 180 is what they've usually done for these. And they get it for like 5 turns. All the bonuses for farming the items later. And then we do have our special things here. So there is a rematch atop the pillar. Uh, we'll be able to get Reno again if you haven't gotten them before. It'll be your first time. And it's also getting unit specific uh, pots and everything just for reno so we should get enough stuff to ex3 reno for free i don't know if it's all going to be this week because we should have a second week next week so i don't know if they'll split up his stuff between the two weeks or not but either way for free we should be able to ex3 reno from the start with uh, just this event stuff Plus, we'll get the stuff that's just for him. And there is a note that he'll get more upgrades in the future. I'm kind of hoping that he'll get some more upgrades next week. And not like uh, when we got upgrades in the future for Barb and had to wait a few months. But we'll see on that one. And then we have our challenge against the Turks. And this is just to get our Master Crown and the usual stuff there. And then we have our banners, so Cloud and Barrett are the rate ups there. So they do have the special step up with the boosted rates. So the final one, curated pool for the guaranteed one. And that just means premium units only, and it's a 10% rate for Cloud himself. Step five is just a 2.5% rate for either with the guaranteed one there. And then step four is just a 2% rate for the banner unit. And then they have their normal step up to get more tickets. So if you want to pity Barrett, it's 10 tickets. He's not premium. If you want to pity Cloud, it's 20 tickets because he is premium. And it looks like their special step up has no tickets on it at all. Probably because of the boosted rate at the end for uh, Cloud and all. So then Cloud is a true Brave Shift unit, which is nice. Super is clothing, 140 attack, 55 defense, and 100% double hand attack. Fairly useful there. His regular trust is just 50% limit damage and 50% killer for human and machine. That is, for a premium unit, that seems kind of low even for a regular trust. Uh, they are giving him a global boost. And this is a passive that's going to boost the damage of certain abilities every turn. Now this is going to be a morale scaling boost. From the live stream that they did, I don't remember them mentioning what exactly this is going to boost or how much it's going to boost. I just know it's going to scale with morale so that he can be used in Clash of Wills, which is really nice to see. He's the first one to get it. Uh, they did note that... This was kind of a special thing for Cloud, so don't expect all G uh, JP units to come over and get this. Barrett isn't getting it himself, even in this one here. So we'll see just how few units get this. But it's nice to see some of the JP units being able to be used in Clash of Wills. So he is lightning uh, focused, and he does have his 150 lightning boost as well. And then we have Barrett, who's a super limit burst unit, and he's a damage dealing tank, essentially. So for his super, we got a two-handed gun, 180 attack, 220 defense, 30% fire and wind resist, and 500 defense just for him. And then his regular trust is 100% uh, double hand defense when using a gun or a fist. And there's the standard physical cover and everything. So we can take a look at their kits on the JP side, because it looks like the only change is the cloud with the bonus morale move. So for Barrett, our Super Limit Burst tank. So he has pretty much standard tank stuff. Standard cover that we've gotten with the mitigates on and everything. Fill limit to full. He's got the standard provoke that they all get and everything like that. He does get a one turn Omni cover with big mitigation. So it's 75% cover mitigation and 90% general mitigation for one turn. So that is fairly nice overall. Uh, once every three turns, he can give 30 LB to uh, 
one unit, and that doesn't even take his LB gauge, which is actually really nice. And then he's got a bolting move with 87 attack and magic breaks. And the damage that he's going to do from chaining is really low. And then he's got a Stardust Ray with his 75% mitigation for two turns on it, which is nice. So he gets some killers for Machine, Reaper, Human, and Demon. He gets two uh, stacks of Guts there, which is nice. Let's see, 30% Evasion. Looks like just the 30% Evasion. Some Beast Killer there as well. He does have 100 Chain Cap. So at the start of the turn, he has one of those Elemental Boosts. So he'll do 200% fire buff and then auto cover uh, physical for five turns. Obviously low cover mitigation on the auto cover. Auto attack, 6LB to himself, 100x defense scaling move. Uh, for spells, he's got his wind buff that we've seen pretty much pretty standard with the elemental buffs we've been seeing. So he's got one for wind and fire. They're pretty much the same, but different elemental buff. You get the 50% all mitigations and 10% or uh, 10 LB crystals to everybody. And he's got the upgraded uh, protect gift. Uh, leader skill isn't coming with this stuff as far as everything I've seen. So he won't be having that, at least until leader skills get implemented on global. So base limit, both are going to be uh, bolting chains. Base fire lock, 200x defense scaling. 85 magic, 87 attack break, 70% general and physical mitigation, and 75 type against human and reaper. Not bad there. And then the super version, still firelock, 300x modifier this time. Break is 85 magic, 89 attack. Uh, mitigation goes to 75%, and the type mitigation to 85%. So overall, he's a pretty standard damage dealing tank, just fire based. And then we can take a look at Cloud. So he's got his one use, 150 Lightning Magnus. Stardust Ray, 130 in peril for Fire, Ice, Lightning, and Wind on it. 150 modifier is nothing there. He does have a boost limit by 60 modifier there. Bolting Chain with 250, it's not huge damage there. AE is nice. He can imbue himself with Wind, Ice, Fire, and Lightning, which is pretty nice. And then it looks like his Lightning imbue also gives him an LB modifier. Let's see, is that his... Maybe the shifted LB. Which is nice for a 4 turn 70x modifier there. So EX2, he gets 100 uh, to all killers. With his trust, he gets 100 to all killers. So that's 200 kill to everything. And then he's got 100 machines. So he auto caps machine without doing anything. And then he's got 200 for everything else. He does have the auto LB boost. So he doesn't need Cloud's Garb. He has it built into his kit. So that's that there. So in the base form, his limit, 40% greatsword resistance. 80% defense break, 200 attack buff, which is nothing really. 150 LB buff is nothing really. 250X single hit finisher. So if anything, we'd use that for the 40% great sword and peril setup. And then in the shift, a lot of his stuff is pretty much the same. He does get a cap move, 1400X modifier. Do okay damage. Obviously, his big damage is going to be his limit burst. So, yeah, the lightning boost will add to his shifted limit burst, which is 300x base. So, using that, we'll put it at 370. If you use it in the first five turns, it'll auto buff to 470. And then you can add another 60 the turn before. So that's 530 total modifier that you can buff them to.
So he's going to be pretty strong overall as LB finisher. Obviously, that's in the first five turns because he gets the 100 modifier just for the first five turns, but should be used to that by now. So overall, not bad units. Um, as far as pulling this week, I'm just going to be doing uh, EX tickets. I'm more excited about Yuffie, who I'm hoping is next week as she's supposed to be part two of this. So we got tickets for her. So we'll do random pulls. We'll see how lucky I get. Not expecting too much because he is premium, but we'll see. And anybody that decides to pull, good luck to you. So that's pretty much all the news we have. So we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.